it on your own. By now, only three states remained under federal occupation, South Carolina, Florida, and Louisiana. If Reconstruction had been wounded in battle in Louisiana, it was old-fashioned politics in Washington, D.C. that would finally put it out of its misery. And it comes uh, officially uh, to an end, a crashing end, with the disputed presidential election of 1876 between the Republican Rutherford B. Hayes and the Democrat uh, from New York, Samuel uh, Tilden. And the end is a, a straight-up political deal in Congress above, uh, uh, between Southern Democrats who broke with their Northern members of their party and uh, Northern Republicans to allow the Republicans to, to put Hayes in the White House in return for withdrawing federal troops from the three states of the South where Reconstruction was still a going concern and allow Democrats to assume the state house uh, in those, those states. In other words, white Democrats could have Louisiana and the other seven states back to govern as they pleased, as long as they helped put a Republican in the White House. Because of the cruelty and corruption of the period, the legacy of Reconstruction in Louisiana remains one of history's most hotly debated topics. I think there was enough goodwill between slave owner and slave slave that after the war, they, they would have in common found a solution to the problem of what do we do. But they had too many meddlers and heavy-handed federal folks. Uh, had the slave owners and former slaves been given the opportunity to work it out among themselves, they would have worked it out, but it would have been a system in which you would have had slave owners and you would have had slaves. Reconstruction was a tragic and bloody failure in that Louisiana had its first opportunity to create a world of equality and a biracial political order, and it failed to do so. It left a heritage of hatred and mistrust that it's taken Louisiana a very long time to try to overcome and a heritage of distrust that we still haven't overcome. That nothing else can be said about Reconstruction. We have the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments on the books, which ended slavery, granted citizenship, and also the right to vote. Despite the trouble that we had during that period, we have come together in many ways today that I think people would have found simply unbelievable in that period of trouble. Trust to honor, and we who bear the grand old name of gentlemen will show you how great a victory your defeat has been. After the federal government withdrew its troops from the state in 1877, Louisiana fell once again into the hands of those who had piloted it through generations of slavery and headlong into civil war. For the Democratic Party, they declare themselves the victors of Reconstruction. They declare themselves the savior of Louisiana from outside rule, from corruption, and most importantly, from the domination of blacks. And that memory then becomes almost a weapon that the Democratic Party can use in any crisis throughout the remainder of the century and well into the 20th century. <laughs> 